load the suture by grasping it with a needle driver approximately one centimeter from the needle. Load the needle by grasping it with your needle driver and using the suture to spin the needle into position. This is a very quick and effective way of loading the needle. A lot of people struggle loading the needle into their needle driver, placing it onto the tissue, fumbling with two hands trying to load it in the proper orientation. This takes time and is inefficient. Instead, just bring in the suture in your left hand, grab the needle in your right hand, and you're ready to go. Next, bring the needle through the tissue, remembering to roll your hand so that you don't drag the needle, but instead bring it through smoothly. Next, grab the suture in your right hand so that the suture is coming out of the tips of your needle driver. Bring the suture through, leaving a short tail, and create a C-loop with your right hand. And bring your left hand over the needle driver twice, grasp the suture, and pull it through. Remember to leave a short tail or it will make your next throws more difficult. Next, flip the suture over and grab it in your left hand such that the suture is coming out of the tip of the needle driver. Again, bring your needle driver over the suture, through the C-loop, and grab the tail of your suture. Now pull it back through. Flip the suture over again, grab it in your right hand such that the suture is coming out of the tip of your needle driver. Set up your loop, come over the loop, grab your tail, and pull it through. A common error is to grab the suture such that it's coming out of the back of the needle driver instead of the tips. This makes it much harder to set up your loop and much harder to bring your needle driver around. Instead, grab the suture with the tip of your needle driver so that the suture is coming out of the tips, making it easy to set up a C-loop so that you can come over the top and grab your suture tail. Another common error is to grab the suture properly, but to work off to the left or the right instead of in the center. This makes it very difficult to set up a C-loop. Your instrument should really not move very much left or right. The motion is more of a piston motion, in and out, directly over the center of your working space. This makes it much easier to make your C-loop reach around and grasp your suture.